Let's take a look at how to break apart a cube root. So, first of all, here's what a cube root is. So that's a cube root. This reads the cube root of 8. Now, if this had just been the root bar, the square root bar, and the 8, it would say the square root of 8. But the little tiny 3 here, by this part, indicates we want the cube root. If it was a 4, we'd want the fourth root. Okay. So, first of all, this is a perfect cube. The answer to the cube root of 8 is 2. So that one's just done. But let's say it wasn't done. Let's say we just we had to break it apart. So if we had 16x to the fourth, and we want to break this apart, it's to the cube root. Okay. So the way we would do that is we'd say we've got to break these apart. We've got to factor them, break them down into their factors. And the only factors we're interested in, we're not interested in normal factors here, we're only interested in perfect cube factors. The perfect cubes are 1 cubed is 1. That doesn't help much. 2 cubed is 8. 3 cubed is 27. What I mean by that is 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. That's 3 cubed. 4 cubed is 64. That's 4 times 4 times 4. One more. 5 cubed is 125. And you can make a whole list. That's the only numbers we're interested in. So when we look at this number here, we're going to say, do any of these go into it? And you start at the top. The higher, the better, because then you'll have less reducing later, or less work later. So does 125 go in? No. Does 64 go in? No. Does 27 go in? No. Does 8 go in? Yes. So we break 16 apart as 8 times 2. Now, x to the fourth. We're going to break that down to be x cubed and x, because x cubed times x, which is really x to the first, is x to the fourth. We broke it down so there's a cube. That one's even easier to see in a sense than the numbers, because you don't need your list. You just want to take out a cubed and then have whatever's left over there. Now, here's why we did it. Because the cube root of 8 is 2. That comes out. The cube root of 8, as I showed you here, is 2. It's like cube root of 8 is a synonym for 2. It just is 2. When you cross it out, it comes out of the root sign as a 2. The cube root of x cubed is x. You know, it's like saying, what cubed is x cubed? x. And what we're left with inside the cube root, now you have to remember to write your 3 there. What we're left with inside the cube root sign is this guy and this guy. So when we break apart the cube root of 16x to the fourth, we get a 2 and an x outside the cube root. And inside the cube root, we still have a 2 and an x.